welcome friends you are watching uh, virtual firework uh, it's beautiful and uh, you are watching this on the screen so let's go to screen to make it uh, open presentation select shape and uh, round edges rectangle is selected uh, select the yellow mark and press it up so the edges become round and make it a little slimmer so the uh, first shape like uh, rod fire rod may seem uh, a little attractive now select gradient fill select first shape and uh, then linear again select uh, linear up now we will fill gradient colors you can see on the screen that uh, uh, first is dark it's the bottom of the fire rod and uh, the next one is a little uh, less darker which is almost 30 percent so um, we will do it it will be almost the middle of the first shape and uh, now we will add uh, some dark colors like uh, this one orange color so it shows heat and uh, uh, for top we will select uh, uh, a more dark uh, red color so this may looks like fire you have seen it now again go to insert and uh, then shape uh, select 32 angle star draw the first shape and uh, pr uh, press the yellow dot Control d for uh, duplicate if you would like uh, if uh, you don't want to repeat these steps so control d otherwise you can do select the same so uh, i press the yellow dot and now uh, select the gradient fill now select this one it doesn't really matter so next is radial and uh, again next is uh, from the center it must be from the center so the heat may show inside the uh, main center so select the first color is darker orange next press uh, drag it a little for about to 40 percent and uh, it should be a little lighter than the first color like this one and then a little darker so the edges may not properly be uh, vanished but a little lighter and lastly we will add dark color so this extreme edge may not be visible now we will simply remove outline uh, we remove outline and almost all shape in this presentation so now that has been done again line no line and uh, you have seen that the shape has been uh, uh, okay now we will draw another shape of the same type so this be, th this time it will be a little bigger but shrink it so the ends may become a little narrow or sharp you can see select uh, gradient fill no fill sorry and line color solid color and uh, pick a color like uh, orange color so that may be closer to firework uh, uh, line color should be about two you may increase or decrease as you wish and uh, select the dots uh, line so now it looks like that uh, some firecrackers are uh, moving if you see it uh, ahead of uh, simulation now we have done it and uh, next uh, we will see uh, now you can see that the uh, dark background shows about it looks like fire when it simulate you will see that uh, it will be perfect now let's go to invert and uh, uh, select a round shape later on you will feel why i am drawing this uh, select a round shape and uh, make it a little smaller so that it may cover the uh, small star but uh, keep it dark and uh, now select uh, put it on big uh, star and uh, select both and press center and uh, then group 
now it's group now we can use air simulation so first simulation with the fire rod is fly in next we will uh, add to small star which is uh, selected and now we will select zoom so now we have added two simulations one after another and uh, we will select the second uh, with previous so in case that uh, the fire rod comes up so our first little star may appear or it may zoom we will we are now adding next to the fire rod which is uh, dissolve you can see that uh, it disappear not dissolve disappear now the fire rod will come up and it will hit the small star and then the small star will grow and at the same time the fire rod will be vanished as you can see you have seen that uh, so our first simulation is uh, perfect now we will proceed uh, ahead so again we will select the second star or the smaller star and we will add simulation so select it and, and remember next add simulation and grow shrink uh, remember you will reduce the time and select this after previous uh, by 0.25 time means that uh, the blow time or the blast time is uh, shorter so your simulation will look good you have seen it and uh, now we will add uh, simulation to our uh, big star uh, at the same time as we did it previously so we will select zoom so this would be with previous so it means that the little star may appear may grow so this appear uh, these are the steps so uh, the step are kept closer so the uh, next is uh, again uh, to smaller star dissolve dissolve now we have uh, added three simulation and uh, select uh, with previous so our smaller star simulation have been completed now again we have selected uh, the larger star and shrink grow again we will reduce time and also we will use with previous so its combination may remain perfect so now we will check it and uh, we will add last simulation to our larger star which is uh, dissolve this should be after the uh, previous now we are dissolve out and uh, after previous our simulations are completed so remember the combinations in case if you press it perfectly so your firework will seems uh, a little fit now our simulation is completed our slide is ready now we will send it to back uh, remember you will send the larger star to back so it may not cover the smaller star and now we will color the main slide and now you can see that uh, your simulation is uh, okay now we will join it and uh, hope that uh, it will be perfect so uh, drag down the smaller star first put it on the raw uh, fire rod now and uh, later on we will uh, drag down the larger star and put it on the uh, smaller star that was the purpose of sending uh, the larger star into bag so we can now see almost all simulations this is play and uh, it's perfect now make the slide a little smaller so it may uh, becomes easy to control select the entire image and uh, uh, do the first placement through your arrow keys which is easy you can also do the same with mouse although sometimes with mouse it uh, 
displays so i press control d uh, control d is for uh, duplicate and remember control g is for group also so we have again control d and again control d along with the arrow keys to for placement now our uh, simulations and uh, stars are uh, okay we will simply check it and you can see that uh, the firework is uh, perfect now we will bring a picture to the main screen and uh, it will be sure that uh, when the firework is continued so you will feel that uh, it's something uh, done in the city and now i am pasting the picture on uh, uh, blank slide later on you will see why I did it it's easy to uh, cover the entire slide and uh, again we will use it uh, in carping so the slide is covered select copy copy the image and uh, go to the firework slide and paste it now the firework is uh, under it so we will send the picture by right click and send it to back now the firework is visible we will check it and either our simulation has been disturbed or no it's perfect so i hope it would be perfect let's check it now it seems that uh, it's like a city but you have noted that uh, the firework is coming from the ground which is uh, which shows that uh, it's virtual so we uh, we will do a little change by using format and corp and uh, we will go to the first picture which i pasted and corp it now again we will press corp and copy paste the same to the first slide so it will cover our uh, firework from be, uh, the lower side and uh, your firework will be shown that uh, it's uh, uh, some uh, attain some height it won't be shown that uh, it's like uh, coming from the ground now you will see in simulation that uh, now it's look real now sim simulation pen uh, uh, bring simulation pen back animations um, animation pen and uh, check it now you can see that the firework or the fire stick is uh, seems in air and this is the final blow i hope you would have liked it uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe